everyone. Today we're going to show you how to do an Arduino sump pump project. This project is basically going to mimic the exact same behavior as a sump pump that you'd find in somebody's basement. It's used to get water out of a reservoir and pump it away from the house whenever the water levels get too high. So let's show you the setup here. We have a Robot Geek workbench here that we've got a Geek Arduino mounted on with a sensor shield. And we do have a Robot Geek LED driver board here, with just an LED on it as an indicator LED. On one of our digital I.O. lines for output, we have it running over to a power switch tail. And what this is, is just a relay inside this box. So it can take a signal and then turn the relay on and off, turning on and off 120 voltage uh, line, which is what is standard in American homes. This other line over here is running to one of our digital I.O.s as an input. On the end of it down here, is a float switch. So we've got a float switch on the end of this bracket which we have sitting about halfway down in the bucket. This bucket is basically uh, representing wherever you want to get your water out of. So again we can talk about like the well that's inside the bottom of a, of a house uh, to collect rainwater and then drain it out before the house floods. Those also use float switches. This is just a smaller version of the same thing. What happens is when the water rises, the float switch goes up. And the code on the Arduino senses that and then goes ahead and turns on the LED and then sends a signal out to turn on the relay inside the power switch tail. Inside the bucket, we just have a submersible pump. You can find this in a hardware store or a landscaping store. Uh, these are traditionally used for landscaping. Um, most often used uh, inside um, water fountains and landscaping uses. Uh, you can find them online, you can get them at the hardware store, and they require 120 volts. And that is why we have to use something like a power tail in between it and the Arduino. So obviously you can't run things of this size directly off of small electronics. Okay, so we got our setup going. I'm going to go ahead and pour water in. It's going to trigger our float switch. Turn on the pump. It just shut off, and that's because it pumped enough water out to drop the float switch down. So our code is bone simple. It's basically turn on if the float switch is up, turn off if the float switch is down. So it would obviously be cycling very often because it would just be keeping the water at a uh, small level up and down. The other ways to do it would be two switches. You could have another switch at the bottom. So whenever the top one's triggered, it turns it on until it drains the water down to a lower switch. Or you could just set it on a timer. So every time the switch is on, it'll go and run for 15 seconds or a minute or whatever it is you need to go ahead and, and re-empty your reservoir. So that's it. It's a fairly simple project, but it does show you how to take uh, input and send it out to something larger so you can run things like a pump. 